First, it was Toyota. Now, it's Mitsubishi. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video, and today we are here to discuss the fact that Mitsubishi has pulled out of Forza Horizon. Four. So for those that don't know, Forza Horizon 4's car list was announced, I think it was yesterday. I'll put a link down in the description uh, to the full car list so you can go ahead and look through the cars. But you know, as you know, people were looking through the car list, it happens every year. You know, you have the budding group of people who go through every single, every single car, have a look at all the brands. People noticed Mitsubishi was missing. Toyota obviously only have the Arctic tr trucks in the game, not the same thing as, you know, their mod, their, their production cars. So, you know, Toyota are also not going to be in the game. And we all know the problems Toyota have had with video games recently. It's quite weird. But it's also very weird. Another Japanese brand in Mis Mitsubishi are also sharing the same testament. Now, when asked to address on this, um, the Forza guys basically said, and I'm going to paraphrase this because I don't have the quote up in front of me. Uh, basically, they said that um, they weren't able to license them. Obviously, no reasons were given, uh, but they were just said that they weren't able to license them. There's plenty of other cars in the game. Uh, and that was pretty much it. And I am paraphrasing, and I might be wrong in the little last bit, but basically what they said was the li it was a licensing problem. And I know for 100% fact, like, that is the reason why they're not in this. It's really weird because when I... Th Thought saw Toy Toyota doing it. I was like, oh, Toyota being a bit weird. Like, well, why would Toy out of every single company, the the company that you know created the A86, the Supra, they're coming out with a new Supra as well. Like, why would they back out of games? Period. Literally, Castrol Supra, Gran Turismo 4, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of Toyota outside of Fast and Furious. Then you've got Mitsubishi. When I think of Mitsubishi, obviously you think of Evos, and when you think of Evos. I can't even think of the amount of games I can think about Evos in. Most Wanted 2005 with Earl's Evo with the blue and red and the white and shit. I, that comes to mind instantly. Anyway, before I ramble on, I, oh, no, I have one more Evo I can remember. It's the Rally Art Evo from Gran Turismo games. Very, very popular. It's very, very weird that Mitsubishi and Toyota now are starting to back out games. And I kind of want to talk about what this means if any other companies are going to start doing it and why it is a completely stupid idea and you are quite literally missing out on what could possibly be millions of dollars potentially now you're probably thinking that's a lot of money millions <laughs> it is a lot of money what i mean by that is how many cars as you know you were growing up did you fall in love with in games for me, you know, very much, I think Nissan is a company which only recently have I kind of realised, like, I have a bit of an attachment to. But definitely things like Fast and Furious, like Need for Speed, you know, like Gran Turismo, those types of things as I was growing up was a very big reason to why Nissan is one of my favourite brands. Over the years, Lord knows how much I've spent on, like, RC cars and, you know, like, like display, like, little, sort of, like, pretty, like, display car things you can get, like, the scale cars, model cars, you know, Lord knows how much money I've spent on Nissan products because of how I've grown up with them and because of things like Need for Speed, like Forza, you know, like Gran Turismo, etc, etc. You can probably see where I'm going with this. If, as a kid, your favourite car is an Evo 4 and the Evo 4 like, goes up in price and you happen to be a really successful, successful businessman, you are going to buy an Evo 4 when you can afford it because it was in your favourite games and your favourite TV shows and media. The youth now that are growing up with the modern day Need for Speed games, the modern day Forza games, well, there's no Toyotas, so no one's buying, no, like, of course, the, some of the youth are going to buy GT86 is because it is a youthful car, you know, it's rear-wheel drive, it's one of the cheaper rear-wheel drive sports cars on the market, etc, etc, but you don't have the influence, which, say, someone like me did with Underground 2 for things like the R34 and the Supra, it was a lot of a different time back then. You don't have the influence of Fast and Furious anymore, there's a reason why sports cars as a whole are dying, and especially with Toyota more so when they're releasing a Supra and still trying to push the, push the 8.6, why you wouldn't push these youthful markets like video games makes absolutely no sense to me. I, would, I wouldn't I would buy a Toyota just purely out of all this bullshit. Like, it's actually, I'll just buy a BRZ instead because, like, it, I just don't understand. Then Mitsubishi, obviously, they killed the Evo line a long time ago, so I'm not sure if they're trying to separate themselves from what the Evo is to them, but the Evo is literally 
literally half of their history. When you go to and think about Mitsubishi, no one's talking about any of their other cars for the most part in mainstream media. If you go to someone, name me a car that Mitsubishi make, they're gonna say an Evo. Obviously the odd weird person is gonna say a 3000 GT, but let's be real, if you, unless you're trying to be a smart ass, most people are gonna say an Evo. I'm getting on a bit of a tangent here. Uh, the point is um, that I'm trying to make is pulling out from such youthful markets like video games and like Horizon 4, which is the best selling you know, racing game of this generation, minus the fact it's not on PlayStation, you kind of understand what I mean. It just, it doesn't correlate in my head. It makes absolutely no sense. I don't know where, I, there's, I'm trying to find logic in all of this. And unless they're trying to separate themselves from youthful markets, I just can't see it. Everyone plays video games. It's not just young people. Obviously, you know, your average 70 year old probably isn't going to sit down and play a game of Fortnite. But video games aren't how they are, or were, I should say, 10 years ago, you know. 10 years ago, a lot of people would be looked downing on video games, you know. Even as a kid, if you played certain video games, you got looked at it a different way. I remember being, you know, picked on for playing Halo back in the day. But nowadays, it's not really the same. Everyone of all ages plays video games and especially and especially Horizon a game which is E for everyone it's literally a game that tries to include everyone you know every, every age range so if the reason you're pulling out on video games is because you want to appeal to a, an older demographic that doesn't even make sense because older people play video games as well like every, it's, it's universal now you, I would say video games are pretty much on the same level as TV at, at this point really if not bigger I don't get it I just I just don't I literally I struggle to understand where the reasoning is from this, whether even the licensing problems, because Forza as a whole, at least the Horizon series, even the Motorsport series more so, both of them, they are very, very consumer friendly brand. It's not like Need for Speed where it's illegal street racing, it's gritty or at least it's supposed to be. You know, cop chases, you know, intense, you know, like illegal street races, etc, etc. It's not like that. Forza is literally, let's go to a festival and have a fucking sick time. That is literally it. So I I don't, it just, it doesn't correlate in my head to where Mitsubishi was saying, you know what would be really, a really good idea for our brand? Not being in, in, in a video game, free promotion. What if a little kid decides he gets an Evo in a wheel spin and loves the Evo? And, he, and then he goes on to buy one in the future like that is so that is such a possible scenario It might sound ridiculous saying it, but just think about the cars that you really really enjoy I can almost guarantee half of the comment section will be like yeah I kind of like this car from media some type of media. It's a very 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 you know Like it, it could could happen You know if you're a little kid and you see a car you like and you get it in a wheel spin for free And you keep using it keep using it keep using it you're gonna get an affiliation to that car and companies like Toyota and Mitsubishi just can't do that now. I can't see the reasoning in it. It's stupid. I'm done rambling. It's annoying. The full car list for Horizon 4 is phenomenal. So don't let this... I, there's always going to be people like no Toyota, no buy. And no Mitsubishi, no buy. To those people, I say get out of my comment section. Because that is ridiculous. Horizon's car list is stacked it's more than stacked in fact you know i can live without an evo but i'm just starting to think now how many times am i gonna gonna say that like i said this is the exact same thing with toyota two years ago i was like i can live without toyota it's not the biggest thing now mitsubushi who's next you know uh, am i gonna be saying oh i can live without honda next like and then next thing you know honda like with the civics and you know nsx and all that's gone and then you've and integras with hondas and then you've got mitsubushi with the evos and 3000 gt that's gone and then you've got the supra with the A86 and you know like all that or Toyota with the A86 and Supra all gone it's like what is who's next because it seems like it's one by one people are dropping off dropping off dropping off and it's scary for like the long term thing I just hope that A Toyota come back soon because it's been two years at this point um, and then you know Mitsubishi see the light because that's really all we can do at this point makes no sense to me absolutely no sense. So with that being said, let me know if you can see some reasoning in this. Maybe I'm a bit blindsided and maybe I just don't know, you know, what they're doing. Maybe someone in the comments can enlighten me because I just, I just have absolutely I did, I had no correlation in my head to why this is a thing. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome day safe and peace.